as bad as I know this is going to sound, there's a 24 hour McDonald's near where I live and I'm really tempted to go for McDonald's after this. <laughs> even, even though I know McDonald's food is shit. And the worst part is that McDonald's is opposite my gym. And there are times, I'm not kidding, when I leave my gym and go straight to McDonald's. Because you can get out of the gym and you're like, oh, I think oh, my house is all over there. But nuggets are there. <laughs> According to various figures, at the apex of his popularity, Ronald McDonald was more recognisable than the President of the United States and Santa combined. Wait, wait. What? Oh, this is the intro, but sure. So you got to remember, the President of the United States and Santa are only on TV every now and again. Ronald McDonald's on TV every single day. Yeah, but Santa... Bullshit! No fucking way! Well, if you want to feel even worse about it, there are modern studies that show that the McDonald's M is now a more globally recognised symbol than the Christian cross. McDonald's has pretty much owned the world at this point. Get good Christianity. McDonald's showing you how it's done in the marketing department. Marketing. Marketing. Of course. Can I do my intro now? Yeah, you can finish. Okay, yes. According to various figures at the apex of his popularity, Ronald McDonald was better recognised than the President and Santa combined. As you can imagine, Ronald's popularity saw the actors who play him being very well compensated by the company and in return all they had to do was tell the kind of lies that make you question what you're doing with your life. Back in the early days of the company in the 70s, uh, McDonald's would pretty much give the actors who donned the fuzzy red wig whatever the fuck they wanted as long as they followed the rules of being Ronald to the letter without any deviation whatsoever. As you can imagine, being Ronald puts people in a position to learn very sensitive information about the company, and as such, McDonald's has them sign numerous waivers promising to never disclose what they learned while acting in that role. However, this wasn't always the case, as Jeffrey Giuliano was only too happy to explain. Who was Jeffrey Giuliano? He played Ronald McDonald in the 1970s for about a year and a half, and he got so disenfranchised with what he saw, what he learned about the company, that he one day he just walked into his boss's office and told him to shove his job right up his ass. And I just went home one night and I said, no, no, I cannot do this. I can't live with myself if I continue to do this. Because I want your nose, your wig, and your shoes. And he goes, you take your damn shoes, and he throws them across the desk at him. <laughs> That's how he quit. It's not how he quit, but it's how I'm imagining that he quit. And your mother! And your mother! You're all a bunch of pigs! If you're thinking that Giuliano quit because he wasn't being well compensated, that's not true. Being Ronald was a very sweet gig, and during his time at the company, while working as Ronald, Giuliano had a private office, access to a 24-hour of the day personal chef who would cook anything he wanted on command, and a company credit card with no limit. So what did he actually have to do in this job? Well, he basically had to dress up as Ronald like a couple of times a week and go open stores or perform for children as the official face of the company, and he had to do basically like a few magic tricks talk to the kids, like post for photos, that sort of thing. The rest of the time it was his own and he just had to basically just be around when they needed him. So why did he need an office? Um, I don't know and neither did Giuliano. And he's, he even had a secretary who didn't do anything either. She just sat outside. So if anything, she had the cushiest job in the world because she was Ronald McDonald's secretary. Then again, I can't imagine it was easy to get a job when you say, oh, there's a year and a half gap here where you said you were Ronald McDonald's secretary. It's like, that sounds like code for I was in treatment for methadone addiction or something. <laughs> I was Ronald McDonald's secretary. Right. It just ticks a little box on the paper that says, crazy. Just gets, and she's like, no, I was the secretary for Mr. McDonald's. It's like, get her out of my office. According to Juliana, one of the main reasons he quit is because he couldn't live with himself knowing that he was encouraging children to eat McDonald's food. Giuliano got really uncomfortable because McDonald's Corporation told him, never tell the kids directly to eat the food. Just be fun and make them associate our brand with you and fun. And in his head, oh, that's manipulative as fuck. Because that's worse than telling the kids to eat it. Because what I'm doing is I'm subconsciously telling them that McDonald's is a fun place you should go and you should ask your parents to go. So in their head, it's like, oh wow, McDonald's is fun. And he's basically overtly but not implicitly telling them, yeah, come to McDonald's. And that's way, way worse, I think. I'll tell you one thing they did say to me, that who is it that controls the disposable income of a family? It's not mommy and daddy, it's the kids. It's like adverts for smoking and things like that. We never told people directly to smoke. Or we have all their role models smoking in films, and everyone who smokes is awesome and cool and has sex all the time. 
So that's way more nefarious, I think, than just telling people outright to smoke. That's the reason Giuliano quit. He was really uncomfortable with the fact that he was basically brainwashing children into subconsciously associating McDonald's and the McDonald's brand with fun. Because obviously when they met Ronald, it's like, oh yeah, wow, Ronald's a really nice guy. And they'd see Ronald again outside of McDonald's. That's one of the reasons that people are like, well, you shouldn't put play areas inside of McDonald's because then kids want to go there. But it gets worse because according to Giuliano, he was also under strict instructions from corporate to not even tell children where McDonald's food came from. As in like the, the vegetables or the meat? All of it. He was not allowed to tell children that the McDonald's burgers were made from meat. Do you know what the really nefarious bit is? When Giuliano was asked by curious children, so where do, where do hamburgers come from? He was given this really shitty corporate line to say. And do you know what it was? No. Oh, McDonald's hamburgers are grown in a patch and picked when they're good and ready. That's a gigantic fib. <laughs> in fact, fibs don't get much bigger than that. It's hard for kids to make a decision. Like, a kid can't decide to be a vegetarian. They just know if they like something. But at the same time, you can't not tell kids that a burger is made from a cow. Just fucking tell, it's made of cow. <laughs> <laughs> and if they make that choice on their own, that's perfectly fine. But McDonald's, they knew. They knew that kids think cows are cute. And they wouldn't eat a burger if it's made of something they want to take home for milk and cookies. At least lay it on the table. Okay, this is what it is, kids. It's a dead cow and a dead fish and a dead chicken and we don't give a damn. I think it draws attention to something else where if you're so scared that children won't eat your products if you tell them it's made of meat, then you're not very confident in your product. Like if you've got to lie about your product to basically trick kids into eating it, it's probably not a great product to start with. Do you know who else didn't really like McDonald's food? Giuliano, because he was a strict vegetarian and he's now an animal rights activist. And he said, I'm making it known that I am available seven days a week, um, 365 days a year to fight this company any way I can. They turn into the kind of vegetarian who pickets outside one of their stores. But it gets worse. He never actually ate any of their food anyway because he was under strict instructions by McDonald's corporate to not eat any of their food while in costume because it might smudge his makeup. This fit in line with the attitude of the other executives of the company who similarly never ate McDonald's. And according to Giuliano and his one and a half year tenure with the company, he never once saw a single executive or person working for the company eat any of the product McDonald's sold. And in fact, he actually asked one of the executives one day, like, so do you actually like McDonald's? And the guy basically said, no, the food's shit. Don't you get it? It's not about what it tastes like. It's just how we, people eat whatever we tell them to if we market it well enough. And you've probably seen like a variation of that quote floating around on the internet. You've probably seen there's a quote floating around the internet about McDonald's executives, oh, people eat this shit if we market it enough. That comes from Giuliano. So basically that quote comes from an anecdote heard by Ronald McDonald. I imagine in a full Ronald outfit going, oh yeah, so I'm just writing it in a little notebook. I know Giuliano is like, he's an actor, but in every scenario that I'm imagining him doing all this stuff, he's in the full Ronald McDonald outfit every single time. I'm imagining that from the day he started to the day he quit, he just never took that outfit off. Like when he's in his office or when he's in meetings, he's just sat there as Ronald's going, yes. Yeah, so you want me in... Um, uh, Minnesota next week to do an opening for our thousand star. That sounds great. And he's like checking over like stock reports and stuff in the Ronald outfit. <laughs> and then people walk into his office and he's reading a book with his big giant clown shoes are on his desk. Your three o'clocks here, sir. And set them right in. And he puts on a pair of, he puts on a pair of glasses <laughs> and then just <laughs> puts his fingers like that and just sits on his desk and goes, so what can I do for you today? <laughs> it gets just a little bit worse because I still have my favourite fact about this entire thing. Do you know what Jeffrey Giuliano's job was before he was Ronald McDonald? How, what could be the worst possible acting gig for a person who was going to play Ronald McDonald could have had before being Ronald McDonald? The Burger King. <laughs> what? I'm the marvelous, magical Burger King. I can do most anything. Now watch me, kids, when I twist my ring like magic. We're at Burger King! This is not made up. This is true. The guy who was the literal face of McDonald's for a year and a half was a vegetarian who didn't eat their food, originally played the fucking Burger King. You can't make this shit up. Like, as bad as it sounds, 
I really, really could go to McDonald's. Even all, after all the shit I've just said, I'm weak. So I like nuggets. Reasonable. Sorry guys, I'm human, I'm not perfect. I'm not a moral paragon, unfortunately. As much as I shit on McDonald's, I still eat the food, it tastes all right. And it's cheap, and when you're hungover, a strawberry milkshake is just a savior. Uh, I hope as well that don't we get adverts. Mm. I really hope the advert before this was a McDonald's one. <laughs> don't we mention it so much. I was, I was thinking about Big Macs. I know the shit, but man, that's a fuck. When you're hungover, it's, it's, it's a fucking good shit. I'm not gonna do a proper like from Instagram. I'm gonna settle an argument. I eat my McDonald's ice cold. This sounds weird, but it's true. I get my McDonald's and I put it in my fridge and I'll eat it a couple hours later when it's cold and I'll dip it on my cat tomato ketchup. And people think this is weird. So, you leave your like, subscribe, whitelist, whatever that, that bullshit we do. But, comment below if you think that's weird. And if you do, fuck you, it's awesome. Try it, it's the future. Fuck you too. That's really weird. I know it's weird, but everyone has their weird quirks. There are people who dip their fries in their milkshake. They're weird. How come I'm different I like mine cold? But the fries don't taste nice when they're cold. I think they do. Mm. No, it's because what they do is they get, that, they get all greasy and salty, and that's what I like. Because <laughs> I also eat my, I also eat my takeaways cold. I eat, my chi I eat Chinese food cold. I order Chinese food and then save half to eat it cold. But we need, I need this settled. Is, like, am I weird for enjoying McDonald's cold? Well, I'm probably going to say you're weird for enjoying McDonald's.